4374, Project 30078. Seven four project three oh oh seven eight. Four all three seven four. Oh, sticks. 
That's to shut off the mouth there, huh? What? That's to shut my mouth, but he slapped that down. Well, that's that's the starter. <laughs> interested in how the troops uh, reacted. I didn't find any soldier there who was afraid. They were all uh, uh, the ones who hadn't seen a bomb before, were a little apprehensive, but there was no sigh of relief when the thing went off, and no uh, great exuberance which uh, uh, comes from uh, falling being scared. In other words, as far as the soldier reaction to the thing, I would say it, they took it in their stride as American soldiers take all things of danger or uh, things that they have been told about and oriented on. The uh, troops moved out just as soon as the safety officers pronounced it safe and went out in good formation. Last I saw of them, they were pretty well up toward ground zero. What would you say was the main reaction of the troops there in the trenches as they were waiting for the bomb to go off? Well, they, uh, the reaction of the troops in the trenches, they did exactly what they were told to do. They showed good discipline, which was good sense in this case. Any man stuck his head up, there was trouble in store for him. And they seemed to take all the discipline very well. They did indeed. And how did they move out when the order was given to move out into moved the... Moved out uh, very promptly in good formation. And they maintained tight formation. And uh, you think that this training that they have received that you have uh, received the training that these men got there, will that be beneficial in any other time they may come across atomic attacks? Yes, it'll be beneficial to them and also to their buddies when they go back to units so they can, they can tell them about this thing. We would need trained soldiers. Now that atomic weapons are definitely here, we certainly need the trained soldiers to know what to do and to pass the word on not only to the people in the armed forces but to the civilians as well. Is that that right, is sir? correct. And uh, we need uh, the soldier to understand this weapon so we can use it intelligently. Any other thing that you'd like to bring out about it? 